The numbers are in and they're still dismal. Spoiler alert, we still suck at giving epinephrine to anaphylaxis patients, but not you. No, sir. No, ma'am. We're going to fix this right now on One for the Road. The numbers are in, and recent research says that we're still not giving epinephrine to our anaphylaxis patients, even when we should, and that's a shame. A recent study published in the Journal of Pediatric Emergency Care retrospectively looked at 150 young, healthy patients with documented anaphylactic presentations. So the provider's own documentation described definitive anaphylaxis by one or more criteria, and of those patients, just over a third of them received epinephrine auto injectors before we got there. So bravo patients, bravo bystanders, bravo parents. It's good to see those auto injectors are being used when appropriate. However, of the remaining patients, less than one in three received epinephrine from EMS providers. That's right. So we did a worse job than the patients at identifying who needed to use an epinephrine auto injector, who needed that epinephrine dose, even when we're the ones who are identifying and documenting the underlying anaphylaxis. But you know what we did give a lot of? You guessed it, Benadryl and albuterol. These were given much more frequently than epinephrine. So let's review this one more time. We should give epinephrine to anyone suspected of anaphylaxis who has two or more of the following, respiratory compromise, skin or mucosal involvement, hypotension, or gastrointestinal symptoms. And that fourth one we miss often, but they need two of those and then give that epinephrine. Understand that Albuterol reverses bronchospasm, but it does not treat the underlying problem. Benadryl is great to help people who have a little bit of itchy skin feel more comfortable and not itch while they die from anaphylaxis. It doesn't fix the underlying problem. Of those medications, the only one that actually helps reverse the underlying problem is the epinephrine. So give it, give it aggressively. In many systems, if you give that epinephrine dose and the symptoms continue to progress, you can also give a second epinephrine dose, which you should do as well. So let's make a promise, you and I, let's make a commitment here. You find that patient who you suspect of anaphylaxis and they have two or more of those symptoms on that list, you're gonna give that epinephrine. Don't wait for the hospital to do it. You, right? I appreciate that. Hey, let me know. I'm curious, why do you think we don't give epinephrine even when we should. Leave a comment down below and let me know your idea on this and how can we do it better. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being here. I'm Steve Whitehead and that was One for the Road.